How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Um, hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys caught my video I posted yesterday of uh, my visit to the uh, Greater Cincinnati Coin Show um, or AKA the Sharonville Coin Show. A lot of YouTubers were there. A lot of uh, silver stackers that make videos are in there. Uh, coin Op was there. Heck of a nice guy. Him and his wife bought a very nice coin from them. Also, I think Coin Help You was there. He had a table, I believe. I didn't actually see the guy that uh, runs the channel in there, uh, but it was um, it was a lot of fun. So I guess the question today that we're going to pose is: Is paying the premiums worth it uh, for your silver bullion? And uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit and have a conversation with Phil. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. So I don't believe that premiums are going to be going anywhere anytime soon. I believe that the excessive premiums that we pay are here to stay, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, so the question is, are, is it worth it? I mean, we want to stack silver. We know how important stacking silver is. So should we be uh, paying these premiums or not paying the premiums? I know there's a lot of uh, channels on there that say, look, the premiums on the silver is too high. You need to be buying gold. And, you know, we'll make videos about that in the future. But... So I talked to Phil about that because, you know, I don't like paying the premiums anymore than anybody else does, but I know how important it is to stack silver. Uh, so I went down, talked to Phil a little bit about that, and he um, gave me his opinion and his thoughts on the subject. Now, look, he is a bullion seller. He has a coin store, a very successful coin store, and he's been doing it for a long time. So that fact is not lost on me. I know that his job or his whole motivation is to sell me silver. But he also has a motivation to teach and I truly believe that because I've been dealing with Phil for a number of years and uh, I really do feel like he has a, um, a desire to teach, to have the customer, the people that come in and uh, do business with him to understand the importance of uh, stacking silver or any precious metal. So having said that, I'll let you guys hear the conversation that we had and then I'll talk to you guys uh, a little bit later. There's a couple things going on online right now. Most states now require tax to be paid online. I mean, states are kind of getting on board with, with taxing uh, coins and bullion. So uh, there are probably some states that exclude it still. But uh, for the most part, keep in mind that the price that usually is advertised is not right. the final price. And a lot of times uh, the prices that are advertised so much so many dollars or so many cents over spot usually requires a minimum purchase of so many coins to get that. So you go in and you look and you see that perhaps it's, you know, 55 cents over spot, but you have to buy 500 ounces to get that. So you start breaking it back down and you may end up paying 75 cents over spot on certain things if you only want maybe 100. So there's a couple things to keep in mind when you are buying online. Just be very conscientious about what what's being offered and then the final price make sure you do the math to make sure that that's what you want to do before you hit the you know buy button i don't know how difficult the 2020 eagles are going to become later in the year i don't know if they'll become much easier to find i don't know if the premium will start eroding on them but um we just don't know and when you you know when you work within the time frame of day to day um you can't tell the future so you have to kind of take what you know take what uh you know to be the truth and i know the 2020 eagles do command somewhat of a premium right. over you know most of the other eagles i can right. say that we always have a demand for 2020s the demand mm -hmm. uh comes when they first come out mm -hmm. um because of production issues and we did have production issues this year so the yeah. people that got them early probably probably got a better buy on them in the beginning mm -hmm. of the year um not only because silver was lower but because we didn't anticipate the Mint shut down and some of the other shutdowns that right. you know that happened in March and April. So um, that caused a premium on the 2020 eagles. Whether it will diminish by the end of the year, we just don't know. And that's why I said you kind of work day to day and you buy based on um, really the what the market bears uh, from day to day, and that's what you have to do. You have to buy these as. And you know, we were willing to pay the premium to get them because right. I think down the road we'll probably need them. The demand also comes towards the end of the year um, for us at least. Um, 
gift buying, things like that. Right. Uh, November, December, we, we sell a lot of the current twenty or current year eagles because mm-hmm. uh, people do like to give them for gifts. Throughout the year, people do buy them here and there for gifts. But from a dealer standpoint, I you know I appreciate both sellers and buyers right. because that's essentially you know we work in every market whether it's fourteen dollars an ounce right. or eighteen dollars or twenty five dollars an ounce. Um, we typically in in every market you have buyers and sellers. Um, some markets you have more than others, um, one way or the other. But uh, we try to we try to put together you know the sellers and the buyers. What I think about silver, um, I think it's still probably a probably a good buy uh, right. somewhere in the in the twenty dollar range. I, I still think it's 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 an excellent buy okay. uh, over time. Um, but again, without without knowing what's going on, what you know, what some of the um, things are going on, especially in an election year, um, you just never know. There's a lot of uncertainty, um, right? And it could do anything, and just like every other collectible, it's 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 a matter of supply and demand. Right. Um, and right now, the demand on silver seems to be high, and I think that's mm-hmm. partly pushing it up. Um, I've talked about panic buying in the past. I think a lot of this um, um, shutdown has created a lot of people without being able to go to coin shows and without being able to really interact with the other individuals. I think there's a, a bit of a panic buy for. Mm-hmm. Um, silver and gold right now uh, whether that'll subside or not I don't know I mean we don't want the year to get worse but it, it could get worse I call it panic buying and the reason I only call it panic buying is because there was a disassociation between what spot price said silver should be selling for and what people were willing to pay for it. and that's right. where we saw that huge premium <laughs> jump in uh, people were buying it regardless of the price basically they just wanted silver and that was uh, the only reason that uh, you know Eagles were selling for $26, $27 um, and more was because people were willing to pay that. Yeah. Um, it wasn't justified by the spot price. It right. wasn't justified by any other thing than um, simply supply and demand. People, people were worried. It. Yeah, people were worried yes. that, mm-hmm. well, I guess it was a couple of things that, that kind of worried people, and I'm speaking from personal, and just, you know, from my personal point of view, the first thing was, was I wasn't sure if silver was even going to be available. Mm-hmm. I mean, with, with silver being where it was mints closing and mines possibly closing, which of course they did, some of them did. I was worried that it was going to be a supply issue. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the economy. I wasn't sure what the dollar was going to do, what the economy was going to do, what my 401k and the rest of my investments were going to do. And uh, so, you know, it was better to get something with tangible exactly. you know, with intrinsic yeah. value. Yeah. Uh, so I bought a lot. I bought a lot more than what I had budgeted for. And I'm glad I did. I mean, I don't regret any of that. I mean, no, I, I think, did yeah. buy a few items that I that I probably bought that I wouldn't have bought any of. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought, you know, yeah. in the past. But uh, I don't regret doing any of that. And I'm continuing. I'm still doing that. I'm still buying. Um, and I guess I guess you could call it panic buying because I have changed the way I, I buy silver yeah. to be a little more aggressive and a little uh, more aggressive in price and not right. being a little more secure. And, and here we are in July, actually in the middle of July, and we're, those two factors you mentioned are still partly could be causative mm-hmm. for going forward. We, right. we, we haven't solved either one of those issues. So, um, you know, the, uh, they may still, they haven't, may not, have, they may have another shutdown of the, the refineries. They may have, the mint may shut down again. We just don't know where that's headed. The economy, of course, is um, anybody's guess where it's headed. I mean, it's up and down like a roller coaster. So um, the things that caused this back in March and April, uh, we're still talking about in July. For sure, we have an idea that there could be another surge in silver because it's already happened. So Mm -hmm. today, when you're looking at, well, you know, you you don't like to pay that extra dollar or two that you normally don't pay to get that, it might be a smart move to do it because down the road, we just don't know what's what's happening. And like I say, the the two biggest threats that cause silver and gold to kind of disjoint between um, what people were willing to pay for it and the well, spot, spot price, price is, right. I mean, those two factors are still right in front of us. All right. So uh, this conversation that me and Phil had was a little more gloomy, a little less positive than what you guys are used to hearing from us. But I think it's important every now and then to get a different perspective, uh, come at it, come at our subject from a different angle. Um, but, you know, premiums are here to stay. We're not going to not have to pay premiums 
for the silver that we want. But it's important to understand that these things have always been a part of silver stacking. If you've been stacking silver, investing in silver, collecting silver, or any kind of precious metal for any length of time, you know that premiums have always been a part of it. Now that premiums now are, are excessive, I'll give you that. The premiums are a little more than what we're used to paying in relation to spot price, but it's what it is. And that can't stop you from um, you know, trying to prepare for your future, trying to meet those goals that you've set for yourself. I mean, hardships come and go, but our test is how we respond to these hardships. I mean, you really don't know what you're made of until your back is against that wall and you have to decide, am I gonna give in or fight my way out? And you don't know, if you have never been put in those situations, you don't know what you're gonna do. So now is that time, now is that test. With all the stuff that's going on, we know how important it is to prepare for what is to come. And part of that is your financial well-being. And that's just a part of it. There's a lot more going on than just stacking silver and investing in silver. But this is a part of it. And I would say, from a personal point of view, a big part of it. But you have to decide what you're going to do. So I don't want this video to go too much longer. So I'm going to talk about, I got other videos coming up. And we're going to talk about, you know, premiums and, and how they affect our stacks and how we can kind of look at that and kind of weigh that and, you know, kind of build on it. Uh, but that's for a next, for my next video. But anyway, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Like I told you guys, that really helps out my channel. If you want to see more, subscribe, ring that bell, hit all. That way you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. And let's just keep this silver train rolling. Like I said, I got another video right behind this one. I'll probably post sometime next week. And we talk a little bit more about premiums and how they relate to how what we're doing with our stacks. So anyway, take care of each other. Remember, if you got to go out, wear a mask. It's really that important. And let's just look out for each other. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace. <laughs>